I was doing drawings a couple years ago and I had friends pose for me. And then that was the first time I really realized subjectively putting people I, I care about as a subject matter. I don't want to feel like I'm just using them and, and the fallout that might come from that. I feel there's a responsibility that I need to be aware of. And so that was that was probably the biggest moment where I kind of went, okay, I need to I need to understand the context I'm working in and the responsibility that goes in terms of involving people in that context. I'll have an idea, I'll have a general idea of where I want to go with an image, but it's not usually until I can marry it up with the concept. I wind up going quite a ways down that direction. I kind of feel like if I'm going to talk about something, I want to understand the history and the context and the background and how how the drawing translates to it and how they interact together. That's where the research comes in, being able to then objectively look at, okay, what am I trying to say here? I don't want to just subjectively come in and impose what I think because I'm, I get pretty tired of seeing people just speaking their mind and speaking their opinion and if you're educated well enough on it, quite often you can punch holes in that and I don't care to have holes punched necessarily in something I'm trying to do. So being able to look at it and go, okay, here's the starting point, which is probably what, what I'm referring to here. That's where the starting point comes in. That's where I'll get an idea for a concept or an image and then flesh that out and develop that with the research and bringing the, the context of the history or the relevance of the subject matter to it. So with, with the combination of forensic art where I'm looking at essentially the, the foundation, the construction of, of whether it's facial anatomy or whether it's um, going back and doing a 3D reconstruction or just doing a drawing, going on to my work as well where it, you're breaking it down. I think it, it's, it's that curiosity of kind of like, how does it work? What, what are the moving parts underneath the surface? Um, and that goes to the conceptual as well as the, the kind of anatomical component of it where you're if I'm drawing the, the contour of a, of a figure, I want to know what muscle is it that's informing this curve and, and creating this shadow and this highlight. I don't want to just arbitrarily put something there that, that doesn't make sense. Getting more of a, a foundation and more of a, a methodology to work with through that has been fantastic. I've had the opportunity to study cadavers, to study anatomy, kind of the old master style that, that most people don't get access to at this time. Um, and so to really understand attachment points and really understand the, the mechanics underneath. It's helped me both in the technical component of then developing my drawings or my paintings and saying, okay, this is specifically where this would be. And it also translates to the conceptual side of it where I want to be able to say, I want, I want to be able to explain the process of how I started to where I, I finished and why that's relevant to the image. Usually after a week or two of banging my head against the wall, suddenly you'll realize that there's you're so kind of narrowed in your focus of how you're approaching it that as soon as you get a bit of distance and you step outside you realize that's the beauty of our work. There's a different angle to approach it and trying to step outside of my own, my own ego or my own uh, approach towards it. Appreciating the viewer is going to bring something entirely different. They may not have the same background or be even interested in the, in the concept I'm putting forward and come in with a completely different take of something that I'm projecting. That's a pretty humbling thing but it's also for, in terms of being aware of it and using that, I find it really helps because then it's, it removes some of the attachment that you have and I'm able to, obje again, objectively approach it and usually work through some of the headaches that I'm experiencing at that time. Hi, my name is Jeremiah Birnbaum and I'm an artist in Vancouver.